just starting the morning here at Dolly Sods on the Roarball Plains Trail. Have a beautiful morning. It's, uh, I don't know, end of September, September 25th or something. Temperature is about 60 degrees and it's really dry up here for this time of year. Several uh, trails are shut down uh, due to some small fires in the area. And there's also a fire ban in effect for the entire weekend. No campfires or charcoal fires are permitted uh, to be built anywhere within the Dolly Salts Wilderness area. Small backpacking stoves and uh, gas powered stoves are, are permitted. So that's what we'll be cooking on today for lunch. Uh, but we're going to continue on here. Check back with you shortly. So I forgot to mention that I'm here today on this little day hike um, with my 10 year old daughter, Brooklyn. Hey, Brooklyn, what's up? Nothing. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Like, hi, Brooklyn. <laughs> so as I said before, it's really an uh, abnormal time of year um, or for it to be this dry this time of year. Um, even in the middle of winter or in the middle of summer um, up here in the sods, based on the nature and the elevation, um, it's always really damp uh, and wet. Trails are muddy. Um, even if it doesn't rain on a three day trip, you're still uh, soaking wet. And um, you know, it's just, just how it is up here. You just plan for it and you do it. But um, several places along this trail that we've seen, um, it's so dry that the ground is actually cracked um, due to not having so much water. This part of the trail would normally uh, just be mud. Um, you know, you would see your footprints in it. Uh, there'd be standing water. And, um, but as you can see here, it's, it's actually so dry that it's, it's cracked. So very odd. And I'm sure we'll see more evidence of uh, how dry it is as we uh, continue on. All right, kiddo, lead the way. Well, here we are again, still on the Roball Plains Trail. Um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, pretty, uh, pretty neat little trail. It's all pretty much the same. Um, hardwoods, pine, a lot of mountain laurel. Um, feels like you're walking through a tunnel most of the time, but uh, what's really nice is that as you keep walking, it opens up into views like this that you can just see forever. This uh, outcropping of rocks right up here, that is the uh, famous lion's head um, on the Rocky Point Trail. A lot, of, uh, a lot of hikers like to go over there and look around. It's absolutely beautiful up here. Right, Brooklyn? Yeah. You agree? Here we are back again on the Roarball Plains Trail, headed out. It's about 1 o'clock, 1.15 in the afternoon. We made it all the way down to the uh, intersections of the Wildlife Trail and the Roarball Trail, and then continued down the or to the Fisher Spring uh, Trail. Hung out there for a little bit. And the 10-year-old decided that she was done for the day and decided that we should probably head back. So that's fine. No harm there. It was a good day. Um, all told, uh, total distance we should be doing somewhere between 5 and 6 miles. So not bad for a 10-year-old girl carrying a 10-pound pack on her first ever backpacking trip to the Dolly Sods Wilderness. So... What do you think, Brooklyn? Did you have a good time? You did? Yeah. Awesome. How much longer? What, are we on a road trip? Yeah. I don't know. 
That'd be about another mile. Um, Not far. Uh, You're killing it. Keep killing it. About to die. Oh, I think you're doing pretty good. I think you're doing amazing, actually. You haven't found the truck yet. No. We've been looking for it for an hour. Well, we'll keep looking. Maybe we'll find it. All told, the uh, Robo Plains Trail overall is decent um, compared to the other trails at the Sods. I don't know that uh, I'll be on it again. It seemed very monotonous compared to the rest of the trails where the terrain changes every five or ten minutes. Uh, the Robo Plains Trail is pretty much the exact same thing the entire way. Um, you have a few creek crossings. It is a very moderate trail. Um, pretty much all in the same elevation. Have a few hills and uh, descents, but for the most part, it's flat. Um, one or two creek crossings. Some really, really, really good scenic overlooks towards the end of the trail. I would advise if you want to check those out to come in on the wildlife trail and branch off. It takes about a 20 minute uh, walk to get to those scenic overlooks. Your pack? Yeah. Does it feel heavy? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Let me, let's check in here. You're good there. You're good there. Are you tight on the bottom? Do you need to tighten it up a little bit? You do it. You need to do it? Let's pick it up a little bit. Keep it up on your hips. How's that? Good. Better? You can... Found the truck yet? No. What? Man, where's it at? I guess we better turn around and go look for it the other way. No. No? You think it's this way? <laughs> All right, some uh, final thoughts here. As we're wrapping up our day hike here on uh, the end of September 2016, we spent the entire day on the Roarball Plains Trail, uh, beginning to end. I don't know the exact distance. I have to figure that up when I get back. Should be somewhere probably around the five to six mile range, maybe four and a half, uh, just off of my guess. Um, beautiful, beautiful day to be at the Sods. Probably one of the best days I've ever been here. Um, very dry, which is uncharacteristic for any parts of the Sods. Um, the only time I think I will ever leave with completely dry feet. Not a ounce of water in the shoes or on them, which is odd. Any time spent backpacking in Dolly Sods is better than sitting at home or in the office. So get out with your kids, get out with some friends, family, have a good time, and enjoy all that God has created. Have a good one.